my way many, many, many years ago. I'd like to begin by welcoming everybody here. Uh, I especially want to acknowledge those from out of town. Perry, Fran, Haley, Sabia, Peggy and Chad, Mark Colhane and his wife Cheryl, uh, my lovely girlfriend uh, Siobhan, uh, Vin, and is there anybody that I didn't mention? Brayden. Okay, Brayden, and um, Julia. Julia, thank you very much. Anybody else? Okay, let's move it right along here. Rosie, I just got to say how beautiful you look today. You are absolutely stunning. I heard a little story about a dress, but let me just say that that's the perfect dress, and believe me, the perfect shoes as well. Uh, I really want to thank you for coordinating uh, this extraordinary event. And uh, you did such a wonderful job. I knew it was going to be special as soon as I got the invitation. Oh. And, oh. And, yeah. Yeah, and I pulled out the blue purse, and I thought I needed a pair of pearls with it. It's not that pearls, it's a set of pearls. Okay, so I didn't know. That really set the tone today. Uh, and I want to thank you for uh, bringing your, your, your beautiful maids of honor, uh, Rose and Tomiko. Uh, they brought their grace and beauty and charm, as well as their support to you today. So, um, oh, I also, I can't get away from not mentioning Rosalina won and her husband, Charlie. What a handsome couple they are. I just want to say 50 plus years of marriage, ladies and gentlemen. Rosie, I know where you get the good looks from, that's for sure. Uh, I also want to acknowledge uh, where Mary, where she at? Mary? Or, or Nina's. Uh, we're not sure what her name is, and we're not. Uh, maybe it's something to do with the Witness Protection Program. Um, her brothers, Pete, Raymond, Tony, and Abe, probably know more about that than myself. But, gentlemen, thank you very much for uh, taking Sean off of our hands. He's, he's yours now, okay? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, we want to thank everybody uh, uh, who has come from far and wide, and Sean and Rosie are deeply grateful for your presence here today. I just want to acknowledge uh, a couple who could not be here today, who are here in spirit. That's Sean's brother, BJ, and his sister, Judy. But they are being well represented. So, uh, oh, I'd like to take this time, Sean, to... Uh, for your casting me, uh, uh, choosing me as your best man. I am deeply humbled and honored, and I'm moved, and I am touched, my brother. I don't know how to describe 48 years of friendship, so uh, I assembled this dossier, oh, no. but uh, Sean asked me to omit some of the, uh, the unsavory stories and details of which I am privy. So, <laughs> as best man, I am supposed to sing your praises. Uh, the good news is I'm a pretty good singer. The bad news is uh, that's what I was going to say. <laughs> uh, and now that uh, I'm at a real loss for words uh, because of the... Uh, 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 well, uh, the Mueller oh, files. I know. Uh, fornication. <laughs> fornication. Fornication as special as this. Uh, I, I, I thought. <laughs> what? What? Is, <laughs> fornication as special as this. I thought I would do something a little bit special. So I have written uh, a song with with original lyrics, sung to the tune of. Uh, a song by uh, Carlos Jobim called The Waters of March. Um, and so, Kurt Allen, beat your heart up. Lucas College, some brooms and some wheat, the Vietnam War, the Chicago Sea, at the Yacht Club with his sister Fred, moving furniture out of a rickety van into drinking canines. It is Rush, Stavon, called Green Green, Granny Rob with a gun, driving on Rich Canal, on the sidewalk we can, lower rack or all way, up on foot of land, beat State Charlie's unlimited beer, wow. sleeping under the phone, get your friend out of here, <laughs> watching the bears, we made such a fuss, on Mickey Finn, 
it ate out our guts. Get back, let's go. You're staying with me. His queen's bungalow, his sofa is free. I went, then he reposed with the drink. Reposed to the knee, got sober, I think. Working 12 steps, the boys locked in jail. He spots their lives so that they won't fail. He's sour, he's sweet, he's fresh, he's neat, he's soft, he's tough, and that ain't enough. A gal to love and hold With Rosie you know you're never alone And the riverbank talks of the waters of March It's the promise of love, it's the joy in your heart <laughs> Yeah! All right, and here's a disclaimer, okay? This is a disclaimer, I didn't write this but I found it on the internet and I thought it was pretty neat So let me just say Something on a serious note. Commitment is what transforms a promise into reality. It is the words that speak boldly of your intentions and the actions which speak louder than the words. It is the making, the time, when there is none. And those of us that know you, Sean, and still love you, uh, we have all, you have always given your time, your compassion, your kindness, your encouragement. You are the very definition of a true and loyal fan. No, I mean friend. 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 It's not about you. It's not about you, Todd. It's not about you. <laughs> I have one piece of advice. I want to caution you about arguing with your wife, Rosie. It's a little like reading the terms of use on the internet. Uh, after a while, you just give up and say, I agree. <laughs> uh, Rosie, I understand that you might be like in a, an Irish limerick or two. Well, I, I found one for you that fits for fornication. No, I mean for this occasion. <laughs> At the chess match of Rosie and Sean, Neither knight, rook, bishop, or pawn said the king to his queen as he slipped on the ring, to you I will always be on. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me and raise your glasses as we wish you a blessed and a harmonious and a fun-filled life together. My dear, dear friends, I am so happy that you have found each other. To Rosie and Sean. Rosie and Sean. Salute. Salancha. Salancha. Thanks, thank you. One more time for the best man, Todd.